Okay, Allen bolts. Now, Allen bolts, every now and again, get wrung out. You put the Allen key in the Allen bolt, you try and undo it, and it just skids round, and it won't undo. Now, this is all too common, and it's okay using a centre punch if you're pretty quick, and you're pretty lucky, you can get a centre punch in there, and I covered this in a previous video. You tap it round and out the way. But, some people have said, what about those stainless steel dome cap button bolts that live in your fairings, that hold your plastic fairings on? There's no way you're going to want to start beating a centre punch against those, because you've only got a skid off and you've smashed a hole in your fairing. It's just horrible even thinking about it. So, we're going to use this as an example. We've imagined that this, there it is, that's a wrung out bolt. That's just going round and round, it's not touching the bolt anywhere. So there's a couple of bodgy ways using JB Weld and all sorts, but there's just rubbish, you're just wasting your time. All you've got to do is drill the head off. You need a drill bit that's the same size as the bolt shaft. That's the bit of the bolt that's screwed in. It has to be the same size or more. It doesn't want to be any smaller though, because it will end up going down the middle of the bolt. And that's dangerous because it can then skid off to one side and damage the actual engine casing that it's bolted into. It could be a cylinder head, it could be an exhaust port, or worse still, it could be something like a brake caliper and you trash it and they're very expensive. So use one that's the same size and it won't go any wider. And all you gotta do is drill straight down at the top, a bit of eye protection, and just poke the drill bit right in the middle of the hole. And it will self-center in the hole because it, it just will. And just bear down on it. And then as you're going down in, just do a little bit of this going round, just to make yourself a bit of a hole and it will keep it nice and centered. And there we are. At a certain point, the drill will just take the head clean off the Allen bolt attached to the drill bit. It will come off cleanly and it will lift it away, which is handy if it's something like a cylinder head. And you'll have the stump of the bolt left over. And all you need to do is use your stud extractors or grips and you'll turn that out quite easily. Remember, once the casing, whatever that was, is released because you take the head out of the way, the pressure on the thread will be released and it will be easy to just extract it. If it is corroded in there, then you have to grind it flat completely flush, centre punch the middle of it and keep drilling down, but with a smaller drill bit so you go down the centre of the bolt and use an easy out. There's many ways to do that, but this is just about getting the heads off. So many, so many of you send us comments saying, Allen bolt stuck, can't get it off, and I have said back to many of you, just drill the head off. I just wanted to do a quick video showing that, and it's as easy as that. You saw it done. You can do it yourself. Okay. Got any problems? Drop us a line. Take it easy. Right, so see you next time.